Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. We are here today to try some of the Beauty Awards or Allure's Beauty Awards winners and I can't be more excited. There are some drugstore products, some high-end products, there's a couple of different products in here that I haven't tried out and I'm really really am excited. If you want to see what products I'm going to use, if you want to see my thoughts, then please keep on watching. In this video, I'm not going to use the Allure Winner brushes because um, I couldn't get them. I couldn't get them and I want to use the brushes that I have. Now, I do have the collection, the Lux Blending Brush Set Night Details Brush Collection from Sigma. I always wanted to try more of the Sigma brushes. I think I own one of them and it's one of these in here, but I uh, know they're very popular, so I want to use them today. They are not, I haven't seen, I don't think they are low winners uh, this year, but we are going to use that. But for the sponge, yes, I want to talk about the sponge. I am going to, to use the Allure Editor winner. And this is the Pow Pow Wonder Blender from AOA. I don't know how to pronounce this brand, it here, Studio. This is the sponge that I can't live without. I don't remember if it, it if it was Tati or if it was Manny that talked about this sponge in their videos, but here it is when it's wet. I love this sponge. I love, love these sponges. I've been using them in for years. I can't go back to Beauty Blender. I can't go back to other sponges. I do try them, but somehow I always end up going back to this because it is definitely one of the best sponges out there. They are affordable, really, really good sponges. I always have these. Now I bought a couple of more packages. I give them as gifts. Yeah, just give them away to friends and family because I do, do love these. So if you want a good sponge, go and check it out. Also, I live in Sweden and the delivery time is kind of fast. I think I got the package after, could be two weeks. So I'm going to moisturize my skin and talk about these products. Now I haven't, I didn't want to do this video split in drugstore and high end because I want to try all of the products in the same video that I have. I won't be able to buy you know, full face of drugstore and full face of high end. So I kind of mix those two. But before we go, I do have another of the Allure win, uh, editor winners, and it's this one Jason Wu, Good Night, Mr. Wu, uh, Bedtime Story, Lip Balm. And it is one of the best lip balms, and I've been using it for a very long time, and I'm almost out. Now, if you can see, I'm almost out. I'm going to use it. I use it every night, apply it on my lips. And I'm going to use it now while I'm doing this video. It's really good lip mask, moisturizes, sinks into the lips, makes my lips really soft in the morning. Really, really good night balm or lip balm for the night or during the day. I don't know. I do like to use it f during the night before I go to bed. So it's really a good one. Now let's go to the makeup. For the primer, there, are, there were different primers. Uh, one of them was Smashbox Photo Finish Primer as a super hydrating, uh, the hydrating version of the primer. And that one is really good, but I do have oily skin. I like it, but I kind of felt like it, uh, I got, I still got very, oily during the day. So I went for the Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. It's the same packaging, but this one is mattifying. Now I have it in this small size too, because I tried it when it just launched and I really like it. So I went to and bought the full size. I'm going to use it today. So this one was actually, wasn't really actually a winner, but it's a Smashbox version of Primerizer. I think it's okay. Let's do, I do like this primer. It is really good primer. It's the same primers that they've had in their glass bottles, just that they switched the packaging. I know my friend Valerie loved the primerizer. I think it's how you pronounce it, but you know which one I mean. The one in the, that was in the glass bottle. She really loved that one. I did send her, I think two times before. 
uh, but they switch the packaging. It looks just like this packaging. And I bought it for her to, again this year. Uh, the same primer, but in another package. Let me just show you. It looks like this, but it's a uh, another kind of. And I do like this kind of packaging a little bit better. Now I didn't see any of the eyeshadow primers. Maybe I missed it, so I'm going to go with with the Care Cosmetics Old Eyes on me primer i don't know actually if i missed the primer sorry guys but let's go with this one i'm going to set this primer i'm going to set it with the allo winner nars light reflecting setting powder loose setting powder now i haven't tried any of nars powders this is the first time really excited to try it this is the packaging looks really white i'm going to set my under, uh, under eyes no i'm going to set my eyelid look like this nice packaging i like that oh i like that i like this packaging oh def oh wow that's definitely a fine mist powder flies everywhere okay we know that now for sure i'm just using dry sponge to set the powder it feels really light We'll see how it's going to work on the face. I do have another powder to try out. And for the eyeshadow, now there were different eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes and liquid eyeshadows, eyeshadow sticks that were a lot winners for 2022. But the one that I really want to try eyeshadow palette, but I, my sister had a couple of them, so I got one from her, is actually from Tom Ford. Now they are, let's see, it's Tom Ford Eye Color Quad for $90. And this one she used a lot. If you can see, it's been loved and used, but I really want to try it out. This is the For Honeymoon. I'm going to go in with the Sigma E38. I know my sister loves Tom Ford eyeshadow. She has a couple of them. I haven't used them, I haven't tried them, so I'm very curious, but there were other more affordable eyeshadow palettes if you want to try you can look at it i'm going to link everything down below but i'm going to go into this darker shade here the darkest one and i just want to blend it oh the brush is really soft and with the rest of the product i'm just going to blend it in. we are going to go in with the lighter shade i just wanted to go in with this deeper shade because then I can see how it's blending and it's blending really really nice with the same brush I'm going to go in this um, lightest shade up here they are shimmery so they are not matte or and blend it here just on top a little bit This is uh, blending really nice. It looks crazy right now, but I promise it's going to look good. So I'm going to switch the eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in E27 and I am going to go into the lightest shade here again. It's not going in with the brush. Let's use the fingers. Okay, it's not bad, okay, not bad, but let's let's keep on. I'm going to go in with, well, I dropped the brush. Let's go in with fingers and apply this color here next to it. Okay, guys, here is my honest opinion. I'm always honest on this channel. It's a nice palette, but it's not worth the money. I mean, I could get this makeup look in, with much cheaper eyeshadow palettes, with drugstore palettes, or a little bit higher end palettes, but it's overpriced. Now, it's not bad. Let's watch the colors. Let's watch all of the colors. They're all really creamy, really nice, and but I think they will work much better if you wet them, and I don't want to wet $90 eyeshadow palette to make it look good. Sorry, but I don't. Uh, they are nice, but I don't know. If you, if you um, I forgot which fingers I used. 
<laughs> swatching the finger where I don't have any eyeshadow. I mean, they're all really nice, but really, $90? Nah, not worth. It's nice, but not worth the money. For the foundation, there were different... There was another kind of a foundation thing. It was this Yummy Skin Blurring Balm from Danessa Merix and uh, or Myrix, I don't know how to pronounce it. I have two shades. I have a shade and I have Universal. I'm going to try it in another video. I heard so many good things about these and I do want to try them, but I do want to do, make do a delicate video for that. But in this video, another of the Allure winner for 2022 is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I haven't used it. Now I did try another foundation of NARS. I did try this foundation. This is the Soft Matte Complexion Foundation and I do like it but it's not my favorite. I don't reach for it. It looks heavier and cakey a little bit after a couple of hours and I do want my makeup to look good for at least 10 hours while I'm at work. Now let's go in with this foundation that so many people love. And I do, I did got the shade four, the one, I light four. I don't know if the shade is going to match. I don't even care. Let's go and make it work. This is the packaging. Now you've probably seen it everywhere. We're going to shake it. And I'm going to go use the this brush. This is the Kaya Cosmetics brush. Love this brush, but we are going to go over with this sponge. Of course we are got because I'll always like to use the sponges, but I got this brush for not so long ago and I haven't been able to put it down. I like to go in with that and then go in with a sponge on top. I don't know why. I, I usually don't like brushes. I do keep buying foundation brushes, but I end up not using them, except this one. It's a good brush. Now let's put some of it on my hand. Oh, it's liquidy. I don't know how many pumps. Maybe it's more than enough. And let's go in. Now let's go to the brush. A blush? No, to the sponge. Let's go in with the sponge. Now this foundation looks like my skin, but better. It's medium buildable coverage. Now I'm not going to put more to build it up. I could definitely use more to have more of um, the coverage, but I really like how it looks on my skin. It looks natural. The color is pretty good. I mean, not bad. I feel like I did match myself good online. I love this. I love this. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the Dior's foundation that I've been loving. So far, so good. I'm loving the foundation. Okay, I know I'm repeating myself, but I love the foundation. The Allo winner of this year is the... There are a couple, I think there were two or three different uh, concealers, but I did get the Maybelline Active Wear Up to 30 Hour Concealer. I think it's called Superstay Act Active Wear. This... And I got it in shade 15. I'm scared this is going to be a little bit too dark for me today, but let's just go in. I haven't used this one before, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. And then we are going to set everything with the powder. Ooh, I love the applicator. It's really, it's really nice. The applicator looks really nice. Oh, it's a, it's a nice match. A little bit maybe too yellow, but not bad. It's not too dark. That's what I was scared of. It's a little bit too yellow, but... It's color, it's not the product itself. Let's blend it in with the sponge. Oh, it's blending so fast. This is a really, this is a nice concealer. It's really light wear. It's really light and it has a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. 
Now, maybe not the best color for me. This is a little bit too yellow for me, but I do like how it smoothed everything out. It looks luminous, healthy. I love the concealer. Oh, I really like the concealer. It goes nice on top of the foundation. I do like it. We are going to set it with the NARS powder and see how this is working for the under eyes. This is really a fine mint milled powder. I'm going to use the sponge. I'm just going to remove the creases. I'm going to use the sponge to set the, everything. And I know that I have, I have fine lines and I should not maybe use a lot of powder on my eyes, but who cares? I'm not going to go all the way because I do want to use a cream blush. Ooh, this is a really, really good uh, we can see that it's a little bit of white cast here, but we are going to blend it in when we use um, cream products. But I did want to set my concealer because it does crease a lot. Now I do like this powder for under eyes. The cream bronzer that everybody loves, but I haven't had a chance to try it, is the Hollywood Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour War. Oh, contour wand. I haven't been able to try this because it's sold out everywhere in Sweden, but I did order it from Charlotte Tilbury's website. And I have to say the shipping was really fast. I love the shipping and I was really happy to have it finally to try it out. This is in medium, light medium, I think. So let's go in. Let's just try it. This is a really nice product that everybody is saying it's nice how how oh oh you need, oh okay <laughs> you need to turn this one okay let's see everybody love this product let's see i don't want to do too much and i haven't been able to try it out and i am going to go use my sponge Now, this is a really nice contour product. It blends fast. So yes, for the contour one. Now we are going to go in with a stick blush. Now there were two, no more blushes. I know Patrick Ta blushes were a low winners and also Rare Beauty liquid blush, but I don't know if you've seen any of my videos. I do have a review of that. Rare Beauty Blush, and it actually didn't work for me. I tried it a couple of times. It didn't want to blend. It was patchy. I didn't like it. It was not so easy to use for me. I don't know if it's my only only my opinion. Don't hate me if you like that blush. I know so many people really like it, and it is a low winner. So there is people loving that bra bra product, but for me, it just didn't work. So I did give it away to a friend and she really likes it. So that's nice. But I do want to go in with this Huda Beauty Cheek Tint Blush Stick. And I did got the in shade Peaky, I think it's called Perky Peach. It's this nice kind of wand blush. And we are going to go in with it. Now, I don't usually go in. Yes, I do. Why do I say I don't usually? I am going to go right in on my skin. Hopefully it won't remove my foundation. That's oh, it's a nice color. I'm going to warm some of the blush on my hand and dip my foundation uh, sponge in it when I go in and blend it. Or maybe brush. Let's use a brush. Oh, this one is blending really nice. It's blending really nice with the brush. Let's try the sponge. And it's blending on really nice with the sponge too. Oh, definitely, definitely a winner for me too. Has a nice glow. Oh, I like that. I do like that. I do like that. I am going to go in and set the rest of my under eye with this uh, with this powder. The rest of the face, I do want to try the Allure Winner Pressed Powder and it's the, let's see, Laura Mercier Translucent Pressed Setting Powder for $39. And I have it right here. Oh, I love the packaging. I thought it was straight, but it has like a curve. 
I don't know if you can see on the top. Okay, that's nice. And it does have uh, this kind of thing, but we're not going to use that. I'm going to use my favorite powder brush, and this is the Cash Beauty number one. And let's pick up all the powder. Ooh, I love this powder. It smooths everything, blurs everything. This is a really good powder. It smoothed everything. It made everything look more even. Oh, I love, love this one. This is going to be my go-to, these two. Powder bronzer. I was really curious to try the aloe winner of powder bronzer is L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Matte Bronzer. Now I have the shade Light Medium. Okay, it has a nice mirror down here. Let's use a bronzer brush. I'm going to go in in my Jeffree Star bronzer blush, brush, not brush, and use some of this one. Oh, it's pigmented. Uh, this is like light medium. There are different shades. Oh, wow. I love this one. Now, I do understand why this is award winner because it blends so nice. It's buildable, smells also fresh, and it looks really, really nice. It goes into the skin, melts into the skin, gives nice bronzy look, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy. I like it a lot. Okay, now for the highlighter. Now there were different highlighters. I wanted to try this Milk. This is a low winner liquid highlighter. This is the Milk Bionic Glow Virtual. It has another name, what's called Milk Makeup Beyond Glow. And I have it in shade, I think I said Bionic Glow. <laughs> this is a liquid highlighter. And I, this kind of removes me to be the same kind of product like Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and also the new Smashbox ha Halo Luminous something primer. It's nice to use under the foundation to get that more glowy, healthy look or to be mixed with foundations or to be applied on top as a glow within <laughs> highlighter. And I want to try it. I don't know why I bought this full. They don't have a smaller packaging because I know I'm never going to use the whole product, but let's go in. I'm going to use it as a highlighter. Now, I think they have two shades and this is a low winner. So it needs to be a winner for me too. Let's see. I'm going to use my finger because that's the best way for me to use a highlight. Oh, wow. This is definitely giving me the glow within. It's not removing my foundation. That's a nice. It melts into the, into the skin. I like this a lot. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm saying like I love this product for every product, but this these are a low winners, which means that many people tried it. Many people love it. Now, it's not going to work for everybody, but it's going to work for many. And I love this. I really love this. So far, my makeup looks really, really good. Now for the brow, I am really excited to try this. This is the new Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil from Benefit. And I got the shade 3.5 Neutral Medium Brown. There were so many shades. I didn't know if I should buy four or three or 3.5 uh, or 4.5 or, I don't know, we just went in with this color. Now it has, it's a pencil, but it does have a spoolie and I love that. Now let's go in and try this. I love Benefit eyebrow products. It's a nice color for me. It's not too deep, but not too light. It's neutral, which won't make me look kind of weird, but I can never make my eyebrows match. Now this is a nice eyebrow pencil. It's not too waxy. It's not too pigmented. It's really buildable, really easy to use. Now I do like the pencil that you don't need to sharpen, sharpener because usually, 
I don't have time to do that in the morning, but I like the texture. I like the pencil itself. Definitely going to reach for it. Uh, I love it. Nice, nice. And it's a nice color. Maybe should use um, a little bit darker, maybe number four, but I like using lighter pencil here in the beginning. So maybe I should get another color just for fun. I do want to go in back to the to the, this eyeshadow, what's it called? Eyeshadow palette. And I do want to use the color that we didn't use today. And it's this color here for under eyes. I'm just going to use that for the under eyes. We are not going to use a lot. I mean, I'm, tr I'm starting to like this palette a little bit more when it's wearing on the eyes because it really looks nice and smooth. I mean, I like the Tom Ford eyeshadow formula. It's nice, but I think it's just overpriced. For the eyeliner, now the editor winners is actually the CoverGirl Ex Exhibition slash Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. Now, I did got this from my friend Valerie. I got two shades. I got the black and I got the brown one. Now, I used black in my previous video where I tried the product that I got from Valerie. And I love you, Valerie, for sending this to me. But I want to tr try the brown. I think the brown will go really nice with the eye look. I haven't had a chance to try the brown one. So let's go in with this one. And I'm not going to create a nice long wing if you saw that. But let's just use it. You know what, guys? I have hooded eyes, but this has to be my favorite liquid, liquid eyeliner. This is so easy to use, beginner friendly. It's really good. I love this kind of dark brown color too. The black one is really black. Really, really black. I really love this. This is definitely a good liner and I'm glad that I have them. I'm going to wear it a little bit more than I usually use eyeliners. Love it. Okay, what do we have left? I'm going to go in with LH Cosmetics On Set Long Lasting Set Spray, which is really good. It's not a lower winner. I think it should be because it's a really, really good product. Let's just set everything. Now I have two more products to try. I have the mascara. Now the winner, a lot of winner mascaras, they were different mascaras. And I wanted to try a couple of them, but they don't exist here in Sweden. And I couldn't buy here to Sweden many of their uh, products or those uh, mascaras couldn't be shipped to Sweden or the shipping was too, too expensive. But I did get the Aloe Winner 2022. This is the Clinique High Impact Zero Gra Gravity, Gravity Mascara. Now love, love this uh, Clinique's, I, uh, what's called the mascaras. The one with the green packaging, I don't remember actually the name. I have, I think, two of them as a extra product. I love those. Those are holy grail. Now, I love trying new mascaras, but I have really oily eyelids and really dry under eyes, which means that almost every, almost every mascara transforms, transforms down here and I look like a raccoon at the end of the day, even waterproof. Now this Benefit Bad Gal waterproof mascara, it smudges on me. It does. Not the the Jeffree Stars though, and the, the green one doesn't smudge. The the L'Oreal L'Oreal Paradise doesn't smudge, and I think there are like two, three more that works for me. But Clinique's I do like this one. I haven't had chance to try it. I don't remember. I'm going to use my eyelash curler. So let's try the mascara. We'll see how this is going to look at the end of the day. Oh wow, this wand. I didn't expect that. Now this separates my eyelashes. I was scared of this wand, it looks really weird, but I have to say it's uh, such a nice form. It grabs every single eyelash and it's so far looks good. Now I have to build it up. I want my eyelashes to be a little bit more darker and but it's a really nice mascara. I don't know if you can see any difference, but I love how this mascara made my eyelashes separated along. It looks really good. I'm loving it so far. I really pray and hope it won't smudge, but so far so good. Now we have a last product here. We have the Aloe Winner 
lipstick. Now, there, of course, there were different lipsticks, but the one I really wanted to try that out is Dior Adior, uh, Dior Adior, Dior Addict Rouge Brilliant Sh Shine Lipstick. And this is in shade oh, 422 Rose something something. Can't read it. I'm going to show you. This is the color. Let's remove the lip mask. What is this? I'm not going to go, go in with lip liner because I do want to see how this is going to work by itself. But look at the packaging, guys. Look at this packaging. Isn't it pretty? I don't know how should how okay, that's the lipstick. This is the color. It's really nice. I don't have anything like this, I think, in my collection. That's why I went for this color. Uh, oh, so soft and smooth. Oh my god, it smells... Oh, it smells like candy. Ooh, I love that. Oh, this is definitely going with me. Oh, I love that. That looks... That feels nice, looks nice. My lips look plumpier. Now I wanted to talk a product about the product that I'm not going to use today, but I use almost every day. Now the product that I think it's worth the price and I think you should definitely get is the Lip Oil from Clarins Lip Comfort comfort lip oil. Now I have in uh, t two shades. I have this orangey shade and what's called I know, this shade and I do have it I think cherry something that's red that I have somewhere in my purse love these oils these are really nice I'm going to use it just on top so you can see I love love these oils they are worth the price they are uh, I love these these are really nice they feel comfortable on the lips they wear nice on the lips they last long on the lips it's a really really good lip oil definitely recommend I have like I said two shades and I love them. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this. Now, definitely get it if you haven't. So guys, this is the final look. I still have my pajamas on. I'm going to go and uh, get dressed and I'm going to go fix my hair and I'm going to go to a birthday party. But this is my finished makeup and I love it. I do love how this foundation looks. Now, I love the primer. I know it works. It's a good primer. Love it. I also love the foundation. I'm obsessed with the foundation. It's so natural looking, nice coverage, not full, full coverage. I think you can build it up, but you, I don't need to. The concealer is really good. Works nice with the powder. The powders are phenomenal. Bronzer, the, the contour wand, everything that I use today looks good. Also the eyeshadow. Now, it, I think it's overpriced. I think you pay for Tom Ford name because the formula is amazing. It's a really, really good, amazing pa palette. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful car colors, but I can get this makeup look with other less, um, less expensive eyeshadows. So that's what I think. Mascara looks good. The eyeliner is perfect. Brow product. I mean, everything looks nice. Everything looks nice. I'm going to get dressed, go on with my day, but this is how everything looks. Let me know down below what you think about this video. What do you think about this product? Is there any product that you use that you love or is there any product in here that you use that you don't like? Please let us, let us know down below because I want everybody that watches this video to go and look at the comments, see what works for different skin tones, different skin types. I want everybody to have this as a um, uh, use my videos as a uh, review of the product. If there is anything you love or you don't like, let everybody know down below. It's very important so we can get put our money in right product for us. That's why I do this video so I can get my thoughts out there and let you know what I think about them. But I also want you guys that to watch my videos to put your comments down below, put your thoughts down below. Let us know if you try this. What do you think about these products? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you already haven't. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.